Hello, I'm Vincent Creel, Public Affairs Manager for the City of Biloxi, here to deliver today's Be Prepared video. We're recording this on Saturday, April 18th at 2 in the afternoon. It's been a busy week. The governor on Friday said we need another week of social distancing and doing all of the things that we're doing. Mayor Gillich has also announced that the city would continue on emergency reduced staffing levels for the next week as well. The Mississippi State Department of Health today reports 181 new cases were identified in the past 24 hours. 12 people have died from the coronavirus in the past 24 hours statewide. In Harrison County, we've seen seven new cases, bringing the total to 144. Over in Jackson County, they had five new cases and their total is now past 200 at 201. Hancock County stands at 50 cases. Five people have died from the coronavirus in each of the three coastal counties since all of this began. Should you be scared? The mayor says no. You should be vigilant. You should be careful. You should use common sense and just keep doing the things that you're doing. Remember, the curfew is at 11 o'clock every night. Don't travel unless you have to. Keep to yourself. You can do business and socializing by phone or by email. Joining me now is Councilman Paul Tisdale, who represents West Biloxi. These videos were your idea, by the way, so that's why you're down here on a Saturday. Uh, I'll, t I'll take all the credit if it's good news, and you can have all the credit if it's not so good. I know that you and uh, Mayor Gillich talked about it, and we're, we're going to get back to that in a minute. But tell me what you're seeing out there, what you're hearing, and what you think the city's doing. Well, a couple of things. One, I think uh, that, that folks are putting forth a good effort uh, with the social distancing. Could be better in some areas, mm -hmm. as people have noticed, but by and large, I, th I think the public has done a good job. Uh, I walk a few miles on the seawall every morning. I pass maybe five or six people, usually individuals. Trust me, there's plenty of distance there. And then I go home and I work in the yard or I check my email, all that mundane stuff. But the reason I, I mentioned working in the yard is that's probably been the biggest concern from residents in Ward 5 that I hear from. My trash didn't get picked up today. The garbage is going like clockwork. Mm -hmm. But the trash, they didn't get my trash today. Well, I think it was noted in an earlier uh, broadcast, perhaps, or certainly in the news. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pelican Waste is picking up a ton of yard debris, they yard are. waste. They are. Everybody, you know, I'm just like everybody else. I got nothing to do, and so I'm out there toiling in the yard, piling it all curbside. And when I drive my ward, which I do every four to six weeks, I see a lot of that going on now, particularly out in uh, Edgewater Estates, mm -hmm. um, that area out there. The roads are a little narrow, narrower, but a lot of yard waste. But Pelican Waste, if, if they're supposed to pick it up on Friday, if they don't make it Friday, they didn't yesterday in my neighborhood. They were by today to get the yard waste. Patience is what we're looking for, I guess, in a lot of cases here, huh? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember now you, you're working with a reduced staff mm -hmm. uh, from the city's perspective, perspective with city employees, which means that in public works you don't have as many folks mm -hmm. going out to do things like cut the grass, to do things like pick up some of the appliances, that kind of stuff mm -hmm. that may be curbside. Uh, I know in some areas code enforcement is cut back a little, but they're still out there. Yes, they're still yes. out there. Same with police. You know, following <laughs> up on, uh, on violations and issuing those notices of violations. But uh, by and large, it's just beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that we can't get out and do the things we normally do. Mm -hmm. But I think we're getting close, and it's just like, you know, it's almost like Christmas Eve where you're starting to get antsy because you're ready to open all I like door. that analogy of Christmas Eve. You know, the mayor has been saying, and I think it resonates with a lot of people, we are waiting for the eye to pass. We're in the eye of the storm. But Christmas Eve, because a lot of people think things are just gonna really take off. Well, and you know, and some folks on Christmas Eve, they don't wait till Christmas Eve. But, but yeah, let's not jump the gun, you're saying. Right, be patient, do what you know you're supposed to do, just follow through. 
Yeah. It's like it's like running the race. You run the quarter mile. You come to the tape. Run through the tape. Don't slow down before you get to the tape. Okay, we're going to come full circle now. I know that you and I had a history working together, but uh, I know that you felt it was very important, and you communicated it to the mayor that it's very important we have a consistent message and that we have a relevant message. I live in Ward 5, so I'm quite proud of the things that you've done there and sending out an, an e-blast. E Explain to people what that is and how they can get it. Well, I started about two and a half years ago, and it's just a, a one-page email. If folks want to receive it, uh, all they have to do is email me, P. Tisdale, and the number one, P. Tisdale one at yahoo.com. Just say, add me to the e-blast list. Mm -hmm. I started with about 80 folks. Uh, like I said, two and a half years ago, and right now it's going to about 400 people. Now, some of those aren't in Biloxi, and, and a lot of those are not in my ward, but the fact of the matter is, from my yep. perspective, here's what's coming up on the agenda, here are some things you might want to note, here are some reminders. It's just a communication piece, but honestly, the reason I started doing that, I would have people come up to me after I voted on issues, and they'd say, I can't believe you voted for that. So <laughs> why are you telling me after I voted? Right. So I'm trying to put things on folks' radar if it applies in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so if they, they want to give me some feedback, they can. And sometimes they do, which is fine. What I like about it is you link to a lot of things that are on the city website. So you call attention to that. But you also have your own website. I do. Uh, my website is... Ooh, what is it? TisdaleForBiloxi.com, which you, I might tell you sounds pretty political. Well, when I set it up, it was very political, <laughs> but I'm still for Biloxi. Tisdale4, F-O-R, one word, TisdaleForBiloxi.com. I just drew a blank there for a moment. But well, anyway. I want to I thank you, uh, since, it, since I know you sold the mayor on this idea, I wanted to make you come down here on a Saturday. Well, thank you. It was either that or mow the yard and trim more limbs. Yeah, Wanda's at home waiting on you. I'm sure. I'm sure with a chainsaw. No, Ser Serena's all over the mayor right now. I know. She said he's been working on the pier for about a week. You know? All right, so we're going to be here another three hours, right? No, I'm thinking uh, we're going to keep doing these videos as long as we need to do them. And some people are probably asking, why did we do this one today? But I want to thank you for coming here. I want to thank you for imparting the information. Any closing thoughts? Uh, yeah, it's just at times like these, particularly with you've got the mayors issuing executive orders, you've got governors, you've got the CDC, and it's almost information overload, and, and it seems like as soon as one question is answered, it raises other questions. Communication is always an issue at times like this, and you, in this situation is just so fluid with so many entities trying to get information out there that sometimes some information lags and other sources are ahead mm -hmm. and, and that leads to some confusion. So just be patient. Uh, That's we'll we'll be through this. Be patient. Be vigilant. Yes. Be vigilant. I uh, want to thank you for joining us again here today. I want to thank all the council members because I know they're all doing things throughout the city. And of course, uh, Mayor Gillich and uh, being the, the orchestra leader to make sure things are moving forward. As we've always done, we want to say on behalf of Mayor Gillich, on behalf of the City Council, on behalf of all the men and women who work so hard every day for the City of Biloxi, we say God bless you and God bless Biloxi. As we've also done every day, here's a special video for you. We leave you with scenes from the Biloxi waterfront. <laughs>